<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting for Mobile Command. You younger generation of men, you have such a wonderful advantage by way of the internet to understand true female nature. Now, guys like me in my age group and in previous generations, we didn't have access to all this wonderful information. The only way that we had to deal with female nature was to actually experience it. All the heartache, all the pain, all the rejection, all that stuff. But when we went through those experiences, society and women were able to point the finger at us and say that it's our fault that things went downhill in our relationships. And since we were brought up in a scarcity mindset, we'd always be willing to jump right back on that plantation to prove we could succeed in a relationship or a marriage. However, you younger generation of men, you don't have to go through those experiences. You have guys like me, Coach Greg Adams, Joker, Hammerhand. We're putting our experiences out and you can go to the internet and you can see little breadcrumbs of information like the article that I'm about to cover that will point you in the right direction. And what direction is that? Away from the plantation. Now, this particular advice column was published on the 11th of September. My boyfriend doesn't believe in marriage, but it's something I need. Now, gentlemen, this is coming from a woman. Now, we cannot confirm this. However, this is a tactic that is very commonly used that a lot of us married men fell for. Should I give him an ultimatum? Right there, gentlemen. If the woman in your life, girlfriend, you know, friends with benefit, fiance, if she is not legally bound to you by way of the state and marriage, and she gives you an ultimatum, your next move should be to dump her on the spot. Non-negotiable. Gentlemen, never do ultimatums. See, once again, that's a big reason why the men of my generation and prior constantly failed because we fell for the ultimatums. We tried to make this woman happy. It's impossible. My 28 year old boyfriend of one year told me he doesn't want to get married and he doesn't want children. Now, there's a lot of information that's missing, i.e., how old is this woman? Why is it that she wants to get married to this guy after one year? Gentlemen, the plot will thicken and here is the smoking gun as to why you should not deal with this particular group of women. I've been married before and I want the marriage as a sense of security. Let me say that one more again, just so you know the type of woman who you could potentially be dealing with. I've been married before and I want the marriage as a sense of security and way of saying we're in this together. To me, marriage is much more concrete than a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, 
if there is one group of women who should be treated like Chernobyl, i.e. radioactive, it is the divorced woman. She should never, ever be given the gift of your commitment. She's already had a bite at the marriage apple. So she already knows the legal system. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Divorced women are a extreme no-go. Now, of course, I'm telling you this from my own experience with the meat sack, who was a divorced single mother. Now, of course, back then, with all of the haze, all of the fog, all of the ego stroking that a lot of women will do, they know how to mentally manipulate us men. Because as I stated previously, we had the scarcity mindset and we did not have the proper information on female nature. So, any woman who's been divorced is an automatic disqualification. Gentlemen, you have to set your standards and you have to be ironclad with them. Oh, you got too many tattoos? Nope. Oh, you're um overweight, you're obese, and you're not even attempting to work out? Nope. Oh, you're a single mother? Nope. Oh, you've been divorced? Oh, no. No. Mm -mm. See, this is why you younger men have such a great advantage, because you can set your boundaries in stone. Of course, the simps are always going to deal with them. Yes, the simps are pretty much scavengers. They are. Yeah. And I can look back at myself and say, yes, taking on the meat sack with her and her two kids from her previous marriage, yes, I was being a scavenger. So with that being said, let's continue on with this, with this article. I don't know if I should break up with him in hopes that I can find a husband. Should I give my boyfriend an ultimatum? Should I trust myself enough to know that I will be able to find a husband, excuse me, or should I stick around and hope he changes his mind? See, that right there is what she's trying to do, ultimately. She wants him to change his mind. She wants to say, well, I'm so valuable that you need to marry me. Now, obviously, if you look at this whole article, what is this woman doing? She's trying to secure herself a bailout plan, or as the line of MGTOW so eloquently coined, a pet wallet. Gentlemen, don't do that. Do not be her lifeline, especially in this day and age, when women love to say that they're so strong and independent and don't need no man. Cool. They want equality. The best thing you can do is give it to them. Now, here comes the response. Dear Florida, when you reach an impasse with someone you love, an ultimatum may feel like the only way to move forward. Yes, in a sense, it is. Gentlemen, if you're presented an ultimatum, you should walk away right there. Non-negotiable. Treat her like the terrorist that she has become. You don't negotiate with terrorists. But I caution you against putting your boyfriend in that tough position because it will only drive him away like it should. Instead, approach the topic from a place of wanting to better understand your boyfriend's hangups with marriage and children. Framing your need for marriage and children as intrinsic values, you could help, according to Terry Orbich, a sociology professor 
at Oakland University in Michigan and consulted for the upcoming relationship improvement app Paired. Okay. How can this woman sit here and say that marriage is important when she's already been married? So once again, there's a lot of information that is purposefully left out in this column. But gentlemen, you can go ahead and piece it together for yourself and figure everything out. It's very important to express that in a way saying, I really care about you, but marriage and children are important values to me. Marriage isn't just a sign that you care about me and you love me or you're committed to me and my needs, but it's also a value. Orbitz, who studied hundreds of couples over the past 30 years, told me. In her research, Orbitz found that marriage and children are two factors that are non-negotiable in relationships, meaning there's slim to no chance you can sway the differing opinion of your partner. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to leave him, but there could be a misunderstanding. That's why discussing values rather than presenting an ultimatum will help you both gain clarity about the situation. Well, the guy is already clear about the situation. He's already said he does not want that. Orbitz told me, you don't need to explain why marriage and children are important to you because that's not the point. And your boyfriend might use your whys to dismiss your needs. Instead, say something like, family and children are important to me. They're important to how I see myself. They're important to how I live my life. And they make me happy, Orbitz suggested. See, once again, they're framing this as to make it all about her. Gentlemen, that's how they're going to approach you. Make me happy. This makes me feel good. Blah, blah, blah. Well, what about me? It's like the great Chris Rock said in one of his epic stand-ups. No one cares about you, gentlemen. It's not about you. Nothing is about you. Your primary mission in being married is to try to make that woman happy. Uh-uh. No. 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 With this approach, you're not putting words in your boyfriend's mouth or suggesting he doesn't care about these values. You're giving him the space to consider your stance and think about his own, according to Orbit. If during this conversation, your boyfriend tells you marriage and children do not play a role in his own happiness, you'll get the closer you need and realize you're very different. Well, he's already said that. He's already made it crystal clear. See, gentlemen, this is the wear you down tactic. At that point, it's not worth trying to convince or change him, Orbit said, because that will lead to unresolved issues and resentment for the remainder of your relationship. Yeah, I can agree. I can agree. Once you have made your stance crystal clear, gentlemen, and she says, I don't like that, guess what? Here are three words of wisdom that will make your life so much better. There's the door. But if your boyfriend explains that he does value family time and children and just doesn't want those things right now or doesn't need a marriage license to feel secure in your bond, perhaps you should reconsider your stance. How important is that piece of paper? What does it represent to you being together, living together, having children together and families and friends being close together can't show, Orbit said. Well, here's what that piece of paper represents. 
It represents a solid financial parachute once she decides to pull that ripcord and say, I'm no longer happy, I'm leaving. That's what that piece of paper represents. And this woman being previously married, she knows that. That's why she's pushing for this marriage. Marriage is often an indicator of a person's underlying values, but that's not always the case. That's why getting to the heart of the problem, how you each envision your futures will give you the clarity you seek. Well, with that article being finished, what can we gather from this gentleman? Whoever this woman is, whether she's real or not, this is indicative of how females try to get you to marry them, especially a divorced woman. Yeah, this is a key piece of information for you younger gentlemen. If your girlfriend is trying to pressure you into taking that relationship further, guess what? Cut her off. Break that relationship because understand this and I'm going to be crystal clear when I say this gentlemen, especially you younger gentlemen, your girlfriend is at the highest position that she will ever be in your life. The performance that you get from your girlfriend is the best performance that she will ever give you. All the dirty, nasty things that you're doing sexually, that is her highest level of achievement for you. Marriage will guarantee all of those things will go away. Why? Because she understands that as a girlfriend, she has to constantly compete with the idea of being replaced. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yes, your girlfriend, this is the best she will ever put forward. As we always say, once you say I do, she can now say I don't. That's what marriage truly is, gentlemen. So yeah, when she wants to pursue the relationship and take it further, that's when it's time to go ahead and say, you know what? It's time to call in a replacement. I don't want marriage. I don't want a long-term relationship. I don't want this to go any further. I like things as it is. And guess what? You can leave. Remember, gentlemen, women have an abundance mindset, which is why they're so quick to leave and have another guy within a day or two. Gentlemen, play that game too. If you're going to deal with these women, especially of today, with all the things out there on the internet, OnlyFans, seeking arrangements, yes, you can find her social media profile. You can find her digital footprint. It's all out there. These women are busting it wide open everywhere. So gentlemen, do you really want to invest your time and resources into someone like that? Uh, no. Uh-uh. Casual, occasional, recreational use only. That is it. That's it. I mean, these women of today have no problem saying that they're looking for pet wallets. So, why not? <laughs> but yes, gentlemen, take this article, file it away in your war chest. And when a woman says, well, I want to get married, I want to take our relationship to the next level. You can say, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and look down, go into this folder, war chest. Okay. So why do you want to get married? Well, I love you and all that stuff. Ah, oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. See, marriage by women is a way of getting security. Notice 
There was nothing mentioned about love in that article. That column that she submitted, there was nothing about love. Mm -mm. So there you go, gentlemen. More concrete evidence of the marriage trap. Well, read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And ladies, the power is still metaphorically out. Feminism, sooner or later, is going to get that knockout blow and go right along with it. And as the marital rate has so thoroughly indicated, more and more men are not coming to the marriage plantation. And as long as guys like me are putting our experiences out, guess what? Even less men will come to the plantation. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am...